If programmed corner zones overlap, the zone is reduced to half the distance from one programmed position to another. By default, the reduced zone has the same size on the inbound path and on the outbound path, whichever is smaller. We therefore say that the zones are symmetric. The programmed zone is visualized by a circle, while a reduced zone is visualized by a straight line across the path. A reduced zone is red if an adjacent position is inside the program zone, purple otherwise. Note the cycle time. In Robotware 6.08, asymmetric zones are introduced. To enable asymmetric zones, open Motion Configuration and select the Motion Planner type. In a single robot system, the first motion planner is typically used. Change Allow Asymmetric Zones to Yes. Restart the controller to update the preview of the robot path. Compare the yellow path to the white path recorded earlier. The curvature is different on the inbound and outbound path. The inbound corner zone is no longer limited by the distance to the next position. Run the simulation again to compare the cycle time and verify the path preview. The cycle time is slightly shorter than before. When the robot moves from or to a fine point, the corner zone is still limited to half the distance between the positions. This behavior is controlled by a different configuration parameter. Change relative zone size with fine point to 0.99. Restart the controller to update the path. The zone circle turns white because the zone is no longer reduced by an adjacent position. The zone curvature extends to the full range of the programmed zone. Run the simulation again to verify the path. <laughs> 